Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another Ford Ranger electric update. Uh, in this uh, video I, <laughs> I want to show you uh, what's in the box! Uh, so uh, I pulled the uh, battery, I, I talked about that in another video just uh, showing the process for how I pulled it. But I want to actually break into the case and show you a little bit of what was in. This is a, originally a lead acid uh, Ford Ranger electric, the 1998. Uh, but uh, I want to just open up the uh, sarcophagus or coffin or whatever you want to call it and, and show what's in there. Uh, but uh, also, uh, you know, this has a, a tag on it saying that this was basically a refurbished battery. So I don't know if they went and rebuilt and added new lead acid cells or if maybe they actually refurbished it and, and changed it out to a nickel metal hydride battery, uh, the one that came later. I, I kind of doubt it, but you can do that, and it just requires a, a changing of uh, the battery energy control module, the BECM, uh, as they call it, uh, because it's programmed differently. Uh, and it also take a different uh, charger as well. So I think I would have known if it was more than just replacing uh, the flooded lead acid cells with new lead acid cells. But either way, it looks like a refurbished pack, so not the original. Uh, but let's uh, crack open the top and see what's inside. I want to suck your blood. Ah, <laughs> not just kidding. So uh, there's no vampire in the sarcophagus. Let's uh, just flip this top over. Give a cat a rope. Huh. Anyway, so this is the top of the battery. Um, I actually haven't really looked at it before. Uh, this, uh, there's some sort of you know soft, uh, spongy material here. Uh, actually, it's it's deforming. I don't know if you can see that. Not not really coming back into place. So I don't know if this is just um, old and degraded. Uh, but it, it's it's some sort of a foam pad looks like to, to protect some of the systems. Um, unfortunately, because I didn't get these batteries in an original condition, I don't know um, what they looked like in terms of uh, battery layout uh, and, and where everything was. Um, there's a cat in the box, though. Check, check. What are you doing? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, there's some, yeah, remanufactured assembly. Um... Uh, yeah, it's uh, done. It was done, huh? I guess in 2001. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know what the two is at the end, but yeah. If you look here, this this kind of goes along. Uh, the rest of the uh, there's some fiberglass fibers there. Uh, there's a curvature here. Uh, this is where it fits into that housing. Uh, some more padding. Uh, some metal brackets. And then, and then some padding as well. So uh, this one looks like it's just completely corroded or worn away, whatever it was was on. But yeah, more braces, more brackets. This is probably a majority of the weight in this lid is just in these metal brackets towards the center. So I, I'd be interested to see um, what they were, what they were supposed to be hooked up to. Uh, inside the actual box itself, as you can see, this is pretty roomy uh, by. Um, modern battery standards. You can fit a lot in here. In fact, uh, one person who's been restoring uh, these Ford Ranger electrics put 14 of the Tesla Model S uh, uh, modules in here. So that, that's the equivalent of about 74, 75 kilowatt hours worth of batteries. And they all fit in here. So this has got a lot of space. Uh, the formatting is just a little bit weird, as you can see just how high this deck is uh, in the front side. Um, and, I, and I'm and i not going to remember. This is where uh, the... One of them is a higher power connection. One of them is a lower power connection on the front. Uh, actually, I think this is the high power connection. And this does look like it got chipped or, or something. That could have been my fault. 
Uh, the plug itself looks like it's okay, uh, but yeah, it looks like it could have been chipped, um, maybe just jostled around. But yeah, this is, I think, power coming in, uh, maybe from the charger. These look like they would be from the AC charger, uh, just a slightly higher power leads. Um, and this is the uh, battery energy control module, the, B, the BECM. Uh, and, uh, you know, so you, you get to control all, all aspects of the battery with this. This is essentially has temperature uh, and uh, um, cell leads. Now, uh, the person I bought this from was attempting to make a delete board. So what you do is you add resistors uh, and uh, it essentially tricks uh, the BECM to thinking that the battery is is running the way the way it's supposed to. Uh, there are there are other delete options, uh, and I don't know. We'll we'll look at that. So this is the uh, low power uh, connection bracket here um, that that goes out that side, uh, or low voltage connection bracket. Uh, obviously tail lights the the housings, and I'll I'll probably put these somewhere. Uh, you can see the wiring leads. Uh, running down um, you know some of these are going to charge the battery some of these are just like I said the BECM leads um, actually and that's probably where that came from maybe uh, this might be where the fan housing was originally now this looks like it's torn up but uh, this battery uh, hey Nissan check it out a 1998 car EV with a active thermal management go figure uh yeah sorry i don't want to pick on uh, nissan too much but i have more picking to do later and then uh you know another another set of tail lights okay good uh, we'll never run out of tail lights and then this is interesting here um i'm not sure but i believe these are the heating elements and i actually might be able to reuse these um I'm so I I don't think all lead acid versions of this truck came with these, um, but yeah I I I might try to figure out how to reuse these because uh, given the batteries that I think I decided to use uh, these are going to come in really really hand, handy. Of course the this sheet like this feels like aluminum sheets and I'm going to be very careful here because it feels like they could. Uh, could easily cut you if you're not careful around um, the edges. All right, and uh, you know, in case you really, really needed to stop, more tail lights. Now, I don't like whatever this adhesive is. I'm not sure how this got jostled around here. Um, oh, there's a license plate. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to probably figure out what this adhesive pad was and, and remove it because this isn't this isn't what I signed up for. Oh, hey, look. I can't tell if that's an Arizona tarantula or one of our local wolf spiders. It doesn't look local, so I'm assuming that came that it, that that was imported from Arizona. Um, yeah, so here looks like some more um, brackets. Uh, I'm not sure what all of those went to exactly. Um, maybe bearing seal. Uh, I'll have to look up the the exact uh, history of everything that was done on here. Um, same thing here it looks like some some suspension bushings all right so I, I got that adhesive thing off I'm gonna have to figure out what that is otherwise it looks like a big pain in the, the rear though uh, but anyway so all right so here you have a, a electric ranger service card um, so this looks like it's it's talk, talking about all the different um, huh all right, so battery module replacement data. Um, okay, so this looks like uh, with the upgraded heater. So I might actually be able to make heads or tails of this later um, in terms of how to hook up um, hook up what might be the the stock heating elements. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, and there's some more screws. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, these feel like some heating elements, but I don't like the fact that they're all got all that adhesive stuck to them. That that kind of sucks. So hopefully they aren't damaged, or hopefully I can use them. Maybe some of these, uh, even if these just put out a few watts uh, in a contained battery like this, uh, they can be really really useful in terms of uh, heating. All right, so. Uh, 
here's some just more random padding some of that uh, I'm guessing just to protect components of the battery um, like I said just different suspension bushings components uh, I, I wanted another zerk fitting but I don't know if I'm gonna find one of those um, probably have to get that for the watts linkage in the rear but uh, anyway so yeah we have some parts here good parts and the the piece de resistance um, this is the uh, contactor box uh, warning high voltage um, now normally uh, you'd want to wear gloves <laughs> uh, but uh, there aren't any batteries here so this is just kind of a sneak peek inside the the contactor box only to get into more of this later um, but yeah this is where all of the main power comes through you see that back portion there that's where um, the high power connect is so um, yeah it feeds through there and uh, yeah, you hook up to the uh, yeah, the traction inverter module and uh, yeah it's all up there so um, yeah it hooks in through here and you can access it from underneath the battery uh, but like you can see there are high power connections coming through here so uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it now for me uh, what I need to do is I really want to clean out this box completely and uh, and start uh, seeing what the actual space is that's available uh, and start loading in my batteries um, obviously clean it up a little bit I mean the spiders might need to be evicted um, but uh but yeah, so that's that's what's in the box. All right, well, I hope you uh, found that helpful or informative or just interesting, uh, right? This is uh, what's inside the uh, sarcophagus or coffin or uh, battery box for the uh, 1998 uh, Ford Ranger Electric, uh, the lead acid version. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any insights, if you noticed anything that maybe that I missed. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start cleaning this up and start mapping out uh, how I'm going to be p putting my battery in here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about next. I want, might want to get into the rims and tires uh, for the Ford Ranger, but I also probably am going to talk a little bit more about uh, the battery cells uh, that I'm going to use, uh, what I've sourced and what I'm planning to use and how I'm planning to set it up. Uh, but again, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and uh, thank you for watching.